Hey, good evening, YouTube. Welcome in to the channel. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, a lot of you, already 70 people in the chat, so thank you. We're going to talk about a bunch of changes that are soon coming to Amazon, uh, mainly, and also probably eBay and other platforms to follow. Just before I came on live here, I was told that Etsy uh, and some other platforms have some similar policies, and they are changing those every single day. And so what do we want to talk about? You guys have seen the um, the thumbnail and you've seen the news stories. So two big things I want to cover tonight so I don't uh, go 10 minutes in this video without covering it. Amazon, uh, those of you that sell on Amazon, they will begin displaying your name and address to any potential buyer on the platform. I'll explain what that means in a second. That begins September 1, 2020. The second one, of course, with the social and political uh, atmospheres going around in this country uh, as of July 2020, a lot of things are changing, including a lot of product names, product logos, product um, mascots, if you will, um, representative figures, and some of those changes uh, we've already seen uh, between you know some of our common products. I believe Aunt Jemima was one, maybe Uncle Ben's rice, uh, quite a few products, but two uh, big ones that are going to change in the sporting world, uh, the Washington Redskins NFL football team, and probably, possibly, almost for certain, the Cleveland Indians uh, Major League Baseball team won't be far behind if the Redskins, probably not if, but when the Redskins end up changing their name. And so what this means for product sales on the platforms, Amazon has already began take the takedown of Washington Redskins merchandise, hats, t-shirts, jackets, jewelry, uh, armbands, and also video games, oddly. The Redskins appear in every video game, but they only targeted some. I think it had to do with the cover art or possibly some of the words and titles in it. Anyways, any product that contains the Washington Redskins in the title, in the logo, in the pictures, uh, pretty much going to be gone on Amazon. And I would expect eBay to follow suit with that. So these are the two updates that you guys need to hear about. There's also two other updates that I'm going to cover after we get into this and I ask your opinion. Always please use that chat uh, to express your opinions over there. Uh, our wonderful admins are in the chat. I know uh, Adam from Adam's Exploits is here. He has that blue wrench next to his name. So anytime you're watching the video, if you need something, uh, I think Jason just popped in too, Thrift Trader, uh, Jason Deason from out in Oklahoma. And a quick hello to everyone else who's in the chat as well. Randy and uh, Rick, I saw you guys and I saw quite a few uh, eBay addicts here and flipping goodies. Mike is there and I saw Esteban and Layla. So welcome in all you guys. Okay. So those are the first two updates. Let's cover them and then we'll go to three and four. Number one, this is Amazon's notice. It's linked below. $2 super chat. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Something for your tax bill. Sorry. Hey, I appreciate that. $2 super chat. Uh, the tax bill was crushing. If you missed that video, go check it out. Okay. As of September 1, 2020, if you want to read along, the link is below. Um, Advanced notice. Actually, I can share this screen with you guys. Amazon uh, September 2020 um, name and address. Let me just go ahead and share this with the screen so you guys can read along with me. It's linked below if you um, if you want to read along as well. But I will go uh, and just do a quick screen share for you guys. So share screen. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I believe this is the one. I believe. Yo, believe -o. Um Oops, that's not the one I want to share. Uh, remove that one. Share screen. Chrome tab. Advanced notice. Share. Okay, here we go. You guys can see A-OK -okay with this. Let's read along. Um, advanced notice business name and address to be displayed on the seller profile page starting September 1, 2020. Beginning on September 1, we will display a seller's business name and address on their Amazon.com seller profile page. For individuals, we will display the individual name and address this is consistent with seller profile pages across Amazon stores in Europe, Japan, and Mexico. Why are we making the change? Over the years, we've developed many ways for sellers to share more about their business, including through features like the seller profile page, store, pages for brand owners, handmade, maker profile pages, etc. These features help customers learn more about the business of the seller and products they're selling. We are making these changes to ensure there's a consistent baseline of seller information to help customers make informed shopping decisions. I don't know about you guys, but knowing somebody's address does not 
influenced me into what I'm going to buy on Amazon, but okay. Can I share more information to help customers beyond my business name and address? The answer is yes. Uh, remember that you should not include an email address in the order uh, to prevent spam and abuse. Um, how do I ensure my information is up to date? You can go to your settings and edit all of that. So let's go back to me. What does this mean? If you're a seller on Amazon, Anybody shopping for anything at any time is going to be able to see your address, your registered address. Um, remember that your Amazon returns typically come UPS, which doesn't allow PO boxes. So getting a PO box is okay, but it could create problems with returns. So you want to have an address somehow that you're okay with Amazon and everyone in the world seeing. I see a few problems that this could create. Um, number one is that... Uh, people can see your address. For me, I don't use my real address. It is listed some places, but I'm moving to, and so I'm gonna have multiple addresses, it'll be fine. But for a lot of people, that's just not possible. Um, and again, like I said, the PO box is an issue. I have a PO box, uh, people, people can't get returns because UPS uses uh, doesn't use PO boxes. So that's an issue. Um, you know, that's really, to me, that's bad. I don't think knowing somebody's address when I go shopping on Amazon, how many people, when you go shopping on Amazon, would even look to see what a seller's address was? If you know where they're at, their profile says they're located in Florida. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll shop from people in Florida or Georgia because I want to get something really, really quick. And Florida has like one day, two day, anywhere in the state. So I'll do that. But beyond that, I don't need to know your address and I don't need to know your name you're a company on the internet and I'm ordering something from you. I'm going to look at the price, your feedback and your descriptions and go from there. It's really not important to me. And it's odd that Amazon's doing this. I feel like this might, I don't know. I feel like there's more to it. If somebody has an opinion, please put it in the chat. Uh, those of you on eBay may not be aware of this. When you sell an item on eBay as a seller or as a buyer, if you buy something, you can request the, the seller as a buyer, you can request the seller's information. You can get my phone number, the phone number that rings. I use a Google Voice for eBay, but you can get that number and call my phone by buying something from me off eBay and then requesting that information. It's been that way for quite a long time. A lot of people don't even realize that. So personal information going out. Um, I just look at their state too. Um, uh, people can see your address and when you put your store on vacation, that is an invitation. That's interesting, Randy. I didn't know that. Um, and that's an invitation for thieves. Yeah, Randy, good point. People said that, you know, somebody with nefarious, uh, Randy didn't say this, but I saw I saw this earlier, uh, nefarious intentions, which Randy was just uh, mentioning here, would or could cause somebody to go after somebody knowing that they can get their information now. That's kind of bad, right? And so I talk about social media trolls that go to my accounts and why I have accounts that you guys can't see. You know, one of my stores is linked below, but I don't link all my stores. It's just not possible. And people always wanted to know why. And think about the the hate that social media people get. Imagine if they could get your real information and do something to me or something to someone else. You know, I'm going to be behind gated fences here soon, finally, and uh, I'll feel a little bit safer. Gates aren't, you know, amazing, you know, but it is what it is. Just imagine. So that's one thing. Uh, and the vast, Julianne just said the, 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 the vast majority of people don't even know that they're shopping with a third party on Amazon. That's true as well. And Amazon may be trying to, uh, influence that. And also Jed saying cancel culture very well could be as well. Okay. The second topic, which is what you guys all want to talk about. I'm certain, uh, Amazon and other businesses. We already know that, um, Nike, uh, FedEx, Walmart, Target, um, Adidas all have pulled the Washington Redskins merchandise. All of them have pulled everything off the websites. Amazon taking it all down 48 hours from yesterday. I got a notice yesterday about a video game, a PlayStation 2 NFL Street video game. I don't even have any in stock. It's at zero. I've sold plenty of them. Over the years, I probably sold a couple dozen copies of it. Every now and then I get one, I put it up, I get two, I put them up. Taken down, restricted on my account, cannot sell it anymore. I believe the back cover has the Washington Redskins logo or the name. I don't even know. I got to look into it tonight and make sure it's gone. Um, and so... Uh, Shirley, you're welcome. New to the channel. Thank you for being here. Appreciate that, Shirley. Let's go ahead and put it up there. Rockstar Castle. Thank you, Prime Time. It is. It's a mini castle. So with that said, Amazon pulling the Redskins because it's pretty evident that the Redskins are going to change their name. Um, I don't know how many of you are Redskins fans in here, but not anymore. Uh, that means that eBay is not going to be far off. How many people have something active on eBay or Amazon 
for sale right now from the Washington Redskins. Um, how many people, tell me in the chat, how many people have something active or maybe you just sold something in the last week or so? Uh, I don't know when eBay is going to follow this. I'm completely speculating. I can't say for sure that eBay will, uh, but it's pretty evident, pretty good chance it's going to happen. So keep that in mind. Um, also, while we're at it, and I want you guys to be familiar with this, if you're not, please get familiar with it ASAP. Um, the Cleveland Indians, the Major League Baseball team, the Cleveland Indians have a mascot that has long had a tradition of controversy. Uh, I probably heard about this three or four years ago. In fact, somewhere on this channel, I mentioned um, a polo or a sweater that I got two years ago, a year and a half ago, with the logo on the chest. And I, I mentioned it because it was worth a lot of money. I think we got like 60, 70 bucks or whatever it was. Chief Wahoo. Is that his name? Chief Wahoo? Chief Yahoo? It's Chief Wahoo. I'm pretty sure, right? Chief Wahoo, uh, the Indians, right? So he has long been a very, very controversial uh, image for baseball and for sports as a whole. If you're not familiar with him, um, let me go ahead and post a uh, screenshot here for you guys so you can see Chief, the Chief. Uh, he's been the Cleveland Indians guy for decades and decades. Um, that right there, you guys, is Mr. Chief Wahoo. That is their logo. Um, Angelique loves Chief Wahoo. I think he's cool. I don't see, you know, I understand the people that have an issue as far as the racism or socialism parts of it. I get it. But um, I think he's a cool logo. Uh, if it offends people, then, uh, you know, I'm not one to tell you what you're offended by and not offended by. I just think he's a cool logo and he's been fine all this time. So uh, this is something that will probably be banned. So if you have any of this material or you sell it, then consider that you won't be able to sell it on Amazon or eBay, probably coming very soon. Somebody just, um, Darren Russell just posted just a second ago, are Poshmark and Macari following? Um, the answer to that is I don't know, but probably yes. If it comes down, remember, if they change the name, if these, these sports teams actually change the name, which looks likely, then the material will no longer be relevant, but it'll be a collector's piece because it's no longer produced. They'll stop producing it. So whatever's out is out. Um, will the platforms allow it to be sold in the future as a collectible? My guess, especially on eBay, is no. And the reason is if you look at stuff like the Confederate flag, you look at um, you know Hitler merchandise, World War II merchandise, Nazi merchandise, you look at any of that stuff, even though it's no longer produced, it's obviously no longer look, whatever it is, that collectible, not however you view it, they don't allow that stuff. And um, so the answer is probably not. If you've got a bunch of Indians or Redskins stuff, I would say dump it soon, unless you intend to sell it yourself directly to customers or locally off platforms, at which point they could be worth a small fortune because nobody's going to be able to go on eBay or Poshmark or Amazon or whatever it is and find a chief Wahoo or a Washington Redskins piece of merchandise. So they may come right to you. So that could be a niche going forward. Um, so that's just some updates on the merchandise, you guys. That is... Um, that's pretty much how it's going on the platforms. I've also heard rumblings of two other teams that could get the ax, uh, no pun intended. Um, the Florida State Seminoles is another one. I don't know if you guys have heard of that one. Uh, of Florida State's like four and a half, five hours from me, so it's I don't even care about Florida State. It's too far for me to care. Um, and the, is it UNLV Running Rebels? Somebody help me with that one. UNL University... Nevada, Las Vegas, are they the running rebels? Is that what they're called? Uh, that was another one that could get the uh, change of um, logo, of mascots, I guess. The uh, the running rebels mascot, if you're not familiar, I had to look this one up because I heard of it, but I never knew it. Um, it's what, Hey Reb is what they call him, Hey Reb the rebel. Uh, and so I guess people are offended by the Hey Rebel. Yes, the Running Rebels. So uh, UNLV, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, in case somebody didn't know what that stood for. Uh, that could be the other one. So four teams so far being talked about. Uh, just a heads up. Tark the Shark, former UNLV coach. Yeah, uh, Tarkington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primetime treasure hunter. Good call there. Uh, I have four or five FSU items in my store. Yeah, Angelique, Angie just said, 
Um, those of us in Florida see FSU stuff all the time. I just sold an FSU polo shirt the other day, or it might have been a long sleeve one. I got like 30 bucks for it. And now I'm kind of wondering why it went so high and so quick. Maybe it wasn't high. Okay. Uh, what about the Atlanta Braves? Uh, that could be uh, a possibility. Um, the Atlanta Braves are definitely on the short list. I didn't even think about them, but somebody mentioned it to me. So anything that you think might be controversial, keep your eye out for. Uh, definitely. Okay. Other changes coming to the platform. One is very minor uh, and one is another one that we should keep an eye on. So managed payments starts next week. This is the major one and a lot of questions about managed payments. So let's dive into it. How many people have already switched over to managed payments? How many people have the July 15th and, and switched over? And how many people are still waiting until the last second to switch? Hands up. That's me. Um, we're not responsible for what happened. What about the old Miss Rebels? Certainly could be. I'm offended about people being offended. How can they all of a sudden become offended? Thrift Trader, I asked the same question. Why now? Why not over the years? The answer I kept getting was people were offended. They just didn't. They were too afraid to speak out. So it's possible um, that that is the answer you'll get. Uh, holding out until 11.59, Ryan Mack. I hear you, brother. Cheers to that. Um, switched last second. Uh, Jed just did it today. Fat man Alex in the in the house. Check him out. Uh, Nomen Frog been on it for a year. Fat man the flipper Alex. Uh, last second. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. Um, haven't been notified to switch yet. Cosmic Thrifter. You probably will later in the year. So I would look for that. Um, MBD Studio. Trying to go uh, eBay full time quitting my nine to five. Is it difficult to rent a house if you're self employed? No. Uh, if you want to rent or get a loan self employed, you can show tax returns. Uh, sometimes rentals will just take uh, bank statements. If you're buying, you definitely need tax returns. My mortgage lender, who I just got my new house from, is uh, all over my taxes. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, Jason not switching until eBay forces it. The Kansas City Chiefs, Edwin. <laughs> you know, I could say something about the Chiefs, but they just spent five hundred million dollars. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Most people will be switched. Yeah, Rick, everyone is supposed to be switched by the end of the year, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Um, so if you haven't been notified yet, uh, they will notify you soon after this round of um, round of switches. So my switch is next Wednesday. I'll be doing it probably over the weekend or Monday. There was also some messages sent out uh, that people... Um, got for a $50 or $100 or $150 credit, an invoice credit uh, to pay your eBay fees if you switch over now because you waited so long, those procrastinators paid off. Um, Travis, manage payments. You need to look through my channel for manage payments video. Uh, just search manage payments and you'll read all about it and hear all about it. Um, Sunday fun day, Pamela was one of the test subjects. She was indeed. Uh, and Astrid got her $50 credit today. Indiana Flippers, it's coming. So let me tell you about some of the changes and the questions. If you have a question about managed payments, put it in the chat. There's been two questions I've been getting nonstop. Three, actually. One is, is it compatible with QuickBooks or GoDaddy? As of this week, I know it's not compatible with QuickBooks, but it looks like it's compatible with GoDaddy. Did they update that? Can somebody that uses GoDaddy, I don't, I use QuickBooks, can somebody tell me if it is indeed syncing with GoDaddy? Is it working? That is probably question number one I've gotten all week, all month long. Somebody let me know. Um, Ryan, a lot of people definitely checked uh, up with new bank accounts for managed payments. Yes. Uh, Bear... Bear says, yes, it is with GoDaddy. GoDaddy working great from Mike at Flipping Goodies. Cool. So those of you on GoDaddy, looks like managed payments is working. QuickBooks should follow suit not long. Uh, Noman Frog, Bill and Dave, thank you guys. Appreciate that. Okay, question one. Yes, GoDaddy working with managed payments. Cool. Good job, eBay. Uh, question number two, the bank accounts. Is anybody having issues with their bank accounts or did anybody not have a bank account on the approved list? I use Bank of America. It's obviously the biggest bank in the country, I think, or one of them. So it's approved. No, for, no uh, problems there. What did anybody have, if anything, issue-wise of getting their banks approved? This was question number two uh, about opening um, uh, separate accounts, things of that nature. Um, and uh, I think what's his face? Uh, Ryan just brought it up about, um, sorry, Ryan, about uh, separate bank accounts. So uh, good morning, Outlaw. Uh, can't get eBay to connect to my bank. Joseph Rocanova. QuickBooks need open SaaS to use it. Yeah, Mike, I know there's some issues with that. 
Um, what did Randy just say? It skipped. All my listings only have PayPal for the only payment I accept. Uh, Randy, did you get the 15th notice? Because if so, they're going to take that down on the 15th. Um, I just use a local credit union, no problems. I could not use my credit union account, Susan Huffman, uh, the crooked Wells Fargo for me. <laughs> Jason, I'm not sure that uh, surprises me. M&T Bank, uh, B of A for Mike, yes. I use a small hometown bank, but didn't have a problem. So it looks like most of the... Um, most of the small banks and even the bigger ones, of course, are okay. A few of you having issues. So that's something you'll need to get in touch with eBay right away. If you have a major bank, don't sweat it. If you're still waiting and you have a smaller bank, you may want to go ahead and do it early, even though you want to wait to the last minute, just in case there's any hang up. Uh, it could cause you some issues for a few days, if not. Uh, question about credit unions. Had to upload a, a letter from the bank with routing numbers. Uh, yes, credit unions are allowed, but some of them are having some issues, some secondary issues. So uh, use the Bank of America and it's a student account. Yes, Layla, I did hear that student accounts are not allowed. You need to have a business account or at the very least a personal Bank of America checking account. I have a business uh, account that is linked, so it should be no good. Um, somebody else using a local bank had to show a bank statement. So if you have a local smaller bank, be prepared. This was question number two. I got all week and month long bank statement. So that is uh, question number two about managed payments. Question number three, and this is going to be for those of you already on managed payments. It is now been brought to my attention that when your funds are paid, when, when you get paid for an item, that you are allowed to take your shipping label out of it. So let's say somebody buys a $30 item and 30 bucks drops down into your account, and then you buy a $3 label, your account is going to drop to $27. Does eBay take their eBay fee out of that 27 right away? Or is it an invoice that builds up and gets paid once a month, or you can pay it every day like we can now? Please, somebody on managed payments, tell me how the fees work. Do they come out immediately, or do they build up as a bill that you have to pay once a month or as much or often as you like? I'm hoping they're taking it out right away. So your $27 would then, let's say they take $250, would become $24.50 left in your account, and then your send out, your deposit, would obviously go to your bank account for that amount. Um, does your eBay store name need to match your business name on your documents? No. Your eBay store name is just a store name as long as the name you use to register matches your business. You can pay daily if you want. No, the same billing as of now, often as you like. Okay, cool. So the eBay fee uh, payout or payments are the same as now. You can pay them as much as you want or you can just let them build up, I guess, and make the payments all at once, okay? Um, yes, shipping does come out of the new... Manage payments. Leslie is saying all the fees come out immediately. Uh, I don't know. Everyone else is saying differently. Starting August 12th, they will pull the eBay fees out also. So Mike, am I to understand that on August 12th, which is just a month away, that they will begin doing the auto fees out as an option or it must? Jed says, I'm going to scrub my social media accounts. Um, I probably should scrub mine. Honestly, I have nothing to hide. If there's anything on my social media accounts anywhere that you don't like, you know, I'm very sensitive to everyone. I try to be, uh, you know, I don't have a problem with anybody, color, race, age. The only people I have a problem with on social media are people that purposely attack me or troll me. At that point, I have no filter and I'll say anything I want to say. But I, none of my content, you may not agree with all of my content, but that doesn't mean I'm being mean or attacking anyone because I post something that you don't like. If we have a difference of opinion, hey, look, we don't need to agree on the Washington Redskins, right? Like you like them, I don't like them, I don't like them, I like them, you don't, whatever, who cares? I hate Tom Brady, he's your favorite buddy, great. Let's just not agree on the Redskins or Tom Brady or anything else, but let's agree on buying and selling a shirt for $5 that we sell for 50, right? So let's just agree on business and who cares about the rest? So. Uh, business is business. And that's just how I see it. I know some people choose not to do business with people because of their social or personal beliefs. I've never done business that way. I don't even need to know about you. I don't care about you beyond what we're doing in business. If it gets to the point where we become friends or acquaintances or business partners or associates or colleagues or whatever it is, then I'll get to know you a little bit more. 
it would be physically impossible for me to get to know all 10,000 people that I do business with. I certainly do my best. When I do a, co a conference call with you or a coaching call, I get to know you. I get to know your story, your background. And it's not to say I don't care. That's probably a bad way to say it. I care. I just don't care about your beliefs. Like I don't care in the way of like, it doesn't affect you and I. You and I are gonna get along 100%. So always, always keep your business to your business and your personal to your personal. And you guys will make so much more money and be so much more successful. So um, Layla says, check my Facebook message. Check my Facebook message. Oh, what will my fees be? Oh, so information on fees and how they're calculated will be made available at the beginning of the registration process. Once managed payment is activated for your account starting in July, you will pay only one final value fee consisting of a category-based percentage plus the fixed fee. Yep, your final value fee will be automatically deducted from your sales proceeds and the rest paid out of your bank account. In other words, uh, if you don't have enough to cover it. The variable portion of the final value fee is generally returned to you in the event of a refund or cancelization. And we retain only the per order fee. We'll see fewer fees in your invoice, but all your fees in one place. Most sellers can expect an overall savings. Okay, so sent to me. Uh, thank you for that, appreciate that. When you refund, the credit is released. Sweet, eBay addicts, what's up? So the automatic fee will be automatically deducted. It looks like Mike said that's coming on August 12th. They're gonna start doing that. Um, you can have your fees come out on a daily payments or just con contract. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. Okay, cool. They don't come out as of yet, but they're going to. I'm guessing that your store fees get deducted from your bank account. Julianne, great question. The $59.95 store fee, guys, does that come out of the managed payment account? Um, Maria linked this, uh, Marie linked this to me as well. So I'll post this out in the description box of the I'll post the link that she just gave me in the description box uh, of this video down below after the video is over so you can check back. Um, can somebody tell me the $59.99 um, store fee for premium or $24 or whatever, does that come out of the account or does that come out of your bank? This is what I get for waiting to the end of time to do it because I don't know anything about it. I'll learn right along with you guys. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. It's invoiced. Okay, so it's on the invoice. So you'll, you'll pay it as part of your invoice. Yeah. So can we expect August to be really bad with crashes and outages? <laughs> um, you know, Bear Kitty, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Can we expect August? We'll have to see. Okay, so that is the updates. Those were my three updates for managed payments. We covered the red skins and the insensitive material. We covered the personal information being displayed through Amazon. And we covered, uh, you know, the other platforms possibly following suit with eBay and Amazon. I think we covered pretty much everything that needs to be covered. Remember July 15th, most of you is going to be that that changeover. Are there any questions, uh, any additional questions? Um that you have that you want to put in the chat that I can answer. Uh, blinders to manage payments. Uh, just when you're learning something, they change it. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, it's always a change. Global shipping is available. Yes, that was a question I saw, Layla. Thank you. Um, Robert asked about uh, previous sales. If you have a return, let's say I sell something today and two weeks from now it gets returned after I'm over on managed payments. Um, would it come from PayPal or managed payments? I'm going to guess PayPal. Somebody correct me on that. I don't know if anybody's had that. Dirt Road Picker, good night. This is what I just got from eBay on my question. Your listing should be fine and this should not impact you. Once your account is full set up with managed payments, the listings will update. Got you. Okay, so Randy's, okay, so they're going to update once you transfer over. International orders via global shipping program uh, are working Astrid. I don't know if you're asking about that. Lavender clothesline. Look at who stopped by. Uh, if you guys don't know who lavender clothesline is, please go check her out over on her fancy YouTube or Instagram. She's actually really active on Instagram. Um, give me just a second here and I will pull it up and, and screen share with you guys. There's a lot of great people in the chat who are, uh, YouTube channels or have YouTube channels. Uh, including Lavender Clothesline and, and Adam and uh, Mike and Alex and Dominic. Everybody's over there. So I just wanted to screen share because she hasn't been over here in, in quite a little bit of time. So I want to go ahead and, and screen share with you. 
This is Lavender Clothesline's YouTube channel. Make it a little bit bigger for you. There you go. You always want to have a cushion in your account for shipping and store fees. We don't incur bank fees, so we don't incur bank fees. Yes, always know that you have enough in your account in your managed payments to pay for your fees and possibly any shipping or returns or whatever. That way, it doesn't come from your bank and you get a surprise charge to your bank account. Um, that can be a really big bummer for a lot of people, especially if they don't have a ton of money in their bank account at any one time. So something to think about. Um, you guys, you want to talk about a troll? Look, look who's, look, I am live on the internet. And uh, what? Yes, mother. Okay, I'm on the live show. All right, bye. <laughs> it's my mom. Great. Thanks, mom. Um, anyways, okay. So that is uh, that is it. For the majority of claims, returns, and refunds, eBay will continue to follow existing policies and refunds will be returned to the original payment method the buyer uses at the time of purchase, PayPal. Um, <laughs> I don't think she looked at the time. Uh, it was something actually uh, important, so I'll have to call her back. But uh <laughs> I'm surprised she's not in the chat. Yeah, those of you that aren't aware, my mom was tested positive for uh, C19. We can't say that word. I haven't seen my mom. She, Those of you new to the channel are not familiar. Uh, my mom lives about 15 minutes away, just up the street, not even 15, 10, 15 minutes tops. Um, I see her typically on about a once a week, once every other week basis. I see them a few times a month. I'll go swing by or they swing by or we get dinners together or whatever. Um, I haven't seen my mom in three and a half or four weeks. It's going on. It was last month, beginning of last month, I think. Um, thankfully, she, uh, a lot of people know my position on this, but either way, she um, she tested positive right around 14 days. It's like 12 or 13, maybe 13, 14 days after I'd seen her. So I was actually planning on seeing her, but then I found out. My dad, uh, they live together, obviously. My parents, um, my dad tested negative. Um, they're both older. Uh, sorry, mom, you're 65 and my dad is 66. Uh, they, uh, not in the best health, not horrendous, but both of them have medical issues as most 65 and 70 year olds do. They, um, they're doing fine. My dad hasn't been sick. He's been great. My mom had a cough, tired, just normal, you know, get sick type thing. She had one or two rough days where she felt really down and out, but she's doing much better. She sounded really good just in the two seconds. I just heard her. So, um, yeah, so all good to go. Thanks for everyone who asked. I didn't see them. I haven't seen them. Uh, my dad was supposed to come to my house to do some work for me to sell it. They never came by. So, uh, yeah, we just haven't seen him. She's, she seems to be doing good. She did test negative this week, so she is clear. Uh, I'll give her another week or so before I hang out with him or see them again. Um, uh, you guys know how I feel about the whole virus thing. We don't have to get into that, but even so, I'm not going to purposely go out of my way to see her. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so if there's any more, Jason's mom tested positive too. Totally asymptomatic, two-week paid vacation. There you go. Julianne, I'm very sorry to hear about your sister. She lost her sister to it. So um, you should have asked her about managed payments. No, <laughs> my mom doesn't know the first thing about it. Uh, she's not that old. No, my mom's not that old. She doesn't act like a 65-year-old most of the time. She is very clumsy, though. She has broken an ankle and a knee and a busted a leg and an arm, and she, she's done some damage to herself in the last five years. I'll give her that. She hit 60, and it was like, oh, boom. Okay. Anyways, any other questions? Uh, I'll be happy to. Um, uh, I'll be happy to uh, answer them, and then we can let everyone roll back into their world of sales. I have some amazing videos for you guys in the next few days. By the way, I made a list. Uh, hold on. We're gonna cover um, the first half of 2020. How much I made? If you missed my tax returns and income for 2019, I just posted the video. Uh, people have been asking how much the YouTube channel made last year. I'm going to do a video on that, uh, and how much I've been paid for a million views on videos, uh, how to sell any item on eBay or Amazon without spending a dime on the merchandise. It's affiliate sales. People wanted me to cover that. It's in my training package below. We'll do a video on that. Um, people wanting to know shop more about Shopify. I'll do some more videos on Shopify. Um, Brooks brothers went out of business. If you didn't hear that, I did a video on lucky brand going out of business. I'll cover Brooks brothers. Um, 
there have been some recent mystery box purchases, which I don't normally buy. I bought some. I'll be doing a video on that and probably next week. And we just covered the video tonight on Amazon making your seller name public and the changing of the insensitive Redskins, in Indians, Seminoles, Running Rebels, the Braves, anybody else, uh, the Chiefs, all of that. And then finally, uh, some more wholesale videos and things uh, of that nature. So a lot of great videos. I put them in my phone as soon as I get asked about them or I come up with them. And I will uh, get to making those for you uh, this weekend. So look for that. Can I elaborate on the Amazon address updates coming in September? Kimberly, yes. The very first five or 10 minutes of this video covered everything about Amazon. Edwin, I appreciate the kind words. Vic is 64. Stop picking on us old farts. <laughs> Can I recommend a good software to research items for Edwin L. Brokey? Yes, sellhound.com. If you guys are not um, familiar with sellhound, Dot com. You can do that and check them out. Also, Terapeak on eBay is a good one as well. Cellbrite, uh, Randy, is a cross-posting tool. If you guys are not familiar with Cellbrite, it does auto-deduction of inventory. So if you put up 10 and one sells on eBay, it'll automatically take it off eBay. And any other platforms you have it on, if you use their software, they work with eBay and Amazon. They work with, uh, I believe, like WooCommerce, BigCommerce. They work with Shopify. They work with multiple platforms. List perfectly, of course, great for eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, Macari. Sellbrite is something more for the Amazon eBay cross poster. So something to do, Sellbrite's a lot more expensive. Was perfectly a little cheaper, but they don't work with Amazon. Um, were both of my parents from the Pasadena area? Yes. Uh, feel free to send me a private message. I'll tell you more about my parents since you know them. Uh, they actually are both from Baltimore. Please don't judge. They're from the 1960s Baltimore, 50s and 60s. Uh, my parents lived in Pasadena their entire life. We lived there for 30 years, going on 30 years. I moved here in 21, when I was 21. My parents lived there before I was born. So probably close to 30 years they lived there. Yeah. So any new bolos? Yeah, I'll put out some what solds for you guys. Uh, if Brooks, Brooks Brothers only filed bankruptcy, they're not out of business. Um, can you get a street address from USPS? Uh, I'm not sure that question. Do not YouTube how to sign up for managed payments. A lot of information is wrong. Use the video directly on eBay website. Sorry, YouTube people, but it's too new for a lot of them to have correct info. So I did a YouTube video for managed payments about a month or two ago. And I only included the information that we knew, that we knew that it was coming to the July 15th for most people, that we knew that um, global shipping was included, that we knew that they were going to allow you to buy shipping labels. So I tried to only cover what I knew. And that's why I do a lot of these live shows for questions like that. So thank you, Layla. Um, 60s is the new 40s. Uh, yeah. Uh, eBay addict. Yeah. The first five or 10 minutes of this video cover the entire Amazon updated policy about your personal information going into uh, your business profile on your seller profile on Amazon. I just took it directly from here. And also I put the, um, uh, I put the link down below in the description box. It's down there. So you guys can check it out. So Amazon updating business policies uh, covered first five minutes and you can link it below. So um, am I still buying lots? Absolutely. Uh, I'll leave you guys here in a few minutes with that. We buy tons of inventory. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys a little quick look. Uh, we have been purchasing, sorry for the lights. Look at all those boxes. And I'm moving in six months. I can't keep piling stuff up here. We've got more boxes I've been opening up. We have been buying boxes upon boxes of inventory just all over the place. I bought thousands of pieces of inventory in the last couple of weeks. Um, also I'm going to be doing a video on 20,000 pieces of clothing that I'm buying in two weeks. So there'll be a video about that huge haul, 20,000 used pieces of clothing. Um, can't give you much more information than that right now, but there'll be a video on that and then possibly some more pallets of electronics. So a lot of good content coming your guys' way. Um, if you want to sell me inventory, email me rockstarflipper at gmail.com or liquidation lots for less at gmail.com. Tell me what you got. Send some photos. Tell me how much you want. Either I can buy it or I have a list of buyers that would be interested in buying it possibly from you. Also, Adam is over there linking um, our wholesale site over there somewhere, over, over some direction that way. Um, if you want to purchase from us, you can click on the wholesale site and find some lots for sale. I also put out an email tonight to everyone with a ton of lots directly for sale. It's also in the Facebook group under the pinned post and announcement. So we have a ton of inventory for sale. Help yourself out. 
Otherwise, uh, Indiana Flippers, please email me, rockstarflipper.gmail.com, and let me help you sell that stuff. Um, that's what we have, piles and piles of money. Thank you, Lavender Clothesline. Uh, if you want to do a meetup, don't make me chase you. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it next week. Shoot me a private message, please, my dear. I uh, love you, and we will uh, get together for sure. I love your content. I love what you do. I love your attitude. You have like this crazy good positive attitude. I love her. Uh, if you haven't seen the video I've done with Lavender Clothesline, uh, just search her name on my channel and you'll find it. We'll do another one for you guys. Okay, have a wonderful Thursday. Have a wonderful weekend. Any further questions, comment below. I'll get to them as quickly as I can. Email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. Thank you to Adam's Exploits. He's our admin over in the channel. He provides you all of the links. He moderates this channel. He's super helpful. Click his YouTube channel. Give him a subscribe. Give him a follow. Check out some of his videos. He does a lot of interviews with a lot of other people that you love. So go over there and watch some of them. Support him. He supports our channel. And uh, thank you guys for everything. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, uh, Fat Man Flipper and everyone else who joined. Good night. See you guys.